Okay, here we are with Big Bertha again. The base that had the broken neck that was put in with screws, bolts actually, three of them. We got that fixed up mostly. We still have some coloring to do, but now we're going to attack the other Frankenstein measure. Here's another bolt here holding on the neck, which didn't really work. See, there's quite a bit of crack still open there. Wide open. And you can see the neck moves back and forth. Wouldn't hold the tune. So, first thing we got to do is take out that bolt. See if I can get the camera in a good spot here. Yep. Got the tailpiece all wrapped up so the strings don't get in the way. And it's a giant bolt. Well, first thing we'll do is take that out. It really uh, didn't do what they thought it would do. It's got a screw on this end and a bolt on that, or a nut on this end. We previously took it out a little ways and then ran into a problem because it was hitting the wood. So we had to chisel that away a little bit. And see if we can get this out the rest of the way. The problem with these bolts is the wood still moves and if it gets loose again the bolt prevents it from clamping. There's no way you could clamp that and get it to go back. So once they're loose they're loose and they stay loose. The only way to fix it properly is to glue it back together replace this with a dowel and uh, put another little dowel on both sides to prevent it from pulling forward but this uh, bolt doesn't do much of anything other than keeps it from falling off completely there we go we cut away just enough to wood it was still pretty tight. What that also does is remove some of the wood so it makes it weaker in some respects. Come on, that's a long bolt. It's like a two, two or three incher. There she finally comes out. Yep, two and a half inches. That was close, two to three inches is what I said. You can see the nut is completely loose. There's no extra strength there. The sides are loose. See how much that moves. So, what we'll do is uh, get that clamped up. Do a dry clamp, see if this one here should be about the right size. Get a good angle on it there. Yeah, that ought to... Wow. See, the other problem is when you... Yeah, it's going to be hard to get that back where it goes. When you drill a hole and that's open like that, it drives splinters into the crack so you can't close the crack. So don't, whenever you're trying to fix something like this, don't use a bolt. That's for construction, not for 
constructing homes, not for constructing bases. So we're going to have to figure out a better way to clamp this. We'll probably have to put this on the bench and do some some uh, cleaning out of that area there. Probably pop off the saddle as well. It's probably not on there very well as it is. Yeah, that side is definitely loose. Check the other side. See that neck came out pretty good, pretty well. Yeah, there's a dowel in there too. Crazy, crazy. You end up drilling so many holes and adding so many dowels, you compromise the integrity of the original neck. side is loose as well. Get a little water on my spatula. See if this will come right off. Catch any grips there. As you can see, there's a big hole cut out of the back of it, which also weakens it, the joint there. But that is, uh, can be fixed by putting a new nut on. Put the water in there. Hopefully they used high glue, but I'm suspecting it's a... Uh, wood glue, like an alphatic resin, they both come apart, one's harder to get apart than the other though. Yeah, definitely uh, fits pretty well on that end of it, but not this side. So when you're fixing another person's repair that wasn't done properly, yep, there it goes. It just makes it harder to fix the right way. A big chunk gone out of that. Now you can see how loose that joint is there. completely separated on both sides. Try and move like that, you can see it in the movement. So that's the only reason that neck broke because it wasn't properly glued there. So we will re-glue that. We'll put some reinforcement in here. Fill that with a dowel. Put the uh, Two pins in, one here and one here, and put a put this nut back on. Maybe put a new one on. So we got a bit of work to do on this. Big Bertha is the name of this base. It's been around the Lansing area for many years.